Hello guys, this is the Polyglot Programmer and today we're going to talk about a packed scene and what exactly is a packed scene and how do you use it. A lot of people confuse a packed scene with an actual node, right? But a packed scene is actually just a custom resource. If you look, if you actually save a packed scene and you open in a notepad, you see that the file structure is exactly as a custom resource. A custom resource is nothing more than a data container. And I actually have a video on resources that you guys can check it out. Link is on the description. So don't forget to check that out. So a, a pack scene, like I was saying, it is just a custom resource that saves some data. Some data about what? About a node, right? So it saves a some data about a node and it comes as just like any other custom resource on Godot, you can actually uh, have methods inside a custom resource and for the packed scene is not different and some of the methods that we're going to find in 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 a packed scene are these ones the one most used is the instantiate which as you can see here in the documentation it actually returns a node which you eventually will add to your scene so that's all you guys need to know a packed scene is a custom resource that saves the data of a certain node and all of its child and children, and you can eventually instantiate it and add it to the scene. And we're gonna see that in action right now. So here I have a blank project, main 2D scene, and I'm gonna create another scene here, right? Which is gonna be a 2D scene. I'm gonna call it a player. I'm gonna add a sprite as always. I'm gonna add the Godot icon here as a texture. Right here we have our player, awesome. This guy is killer, awesome. And okay, so now we saved, here is our scene, our scene file. So I'm not gonna open this now, uh, but if we come back to our main scene and uh, we're gonna attach a script to this guy. All right, so let's attach a script to this guy, right? And in here, um, I like to I like to give all my all my <coughs> my files an actual class and here I'm gonna create an exploited variable right which is gonna be called a player scene right and op type packed packed scene and what this does is that I'm gonna export it so I can set this guy in my inspector. Uh, another way of referencing a packed scene would be var uh, some scene um, packed scene equals, and then here I could just call it preload and do this. It's pretty much the same thing. But usually you want to set that on. A lot of times you're gonna be able to set that on the inspector, so your game is more configurable, right? And now we're just gonna declare a function here ready right and now we're just going to instantiate that guy so we're going to call node instance i'm going to create a guy here called node instance all right i'm going to say that this guy is of type node 2d and here i'm going to call my player scene instantiate i don't need to pass any parameters uh here just so our node is visible i can change any variables Right uh, here, I need to do this. Yes. Node 2D, right? And here I can set any variables from my node 2D here, right? And this type of two. I just set this somewhere in the middle of the screen. And now I just call add child uh, uh, node 2D. So here, what we're doing is. Um, Let's set this property. So now you can see here in my export of variables here, I'm just gonna drag my player there, right? I'm dragging my data container there. It's not the node itself, right? Saving it. And here I'm creating an instance of a node. So I'm calling the instantiate there is returning me a node. I'm changing some variables. It could be anything. And then I'm adding to my main scene. And now if I run my game, there you go, there's my player. And that's all you need to know about a packed scene, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any comments. Let me know if you have any nodes or specific types that you guys want to know more about because this is the first video of a series of videos that I want to make. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.